Yep. Um, well, found this old TV. It's a uh, pretty big. Um, yeah, just found it on the side of the road. Took it home, and I'm um, gonna tear it down and get the flybacks out of it and all that. And yeah. I already tried turning it on, nothing happens. Here's the back. Just got these switches. So yeah, I'm gonna open okay. it up now. Just undone all the screws. And we're gonna pull it open. Let's see what's on the inside. Oh my god, that is so cool. There we go, first thing I spotted. AC flyback, really old. Voltage tripler, I'm pretty sure it is. And there's some high voltage resistors, I'm pretty sure. And no idea what that is. It's, it's all very new to me, this stuff. Never looked in a TV this old. There's all the... There's the, um, I'm pretty sure it's, one of these things is like an isolation transformer or something. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. There's all the receiver stuff and the control speakers. Wow, they're very odd looking speakers, kind of. Oh, there's only one of them. Okay. Um. Oh, this is so cool. Little heat sinks there. Unfortunately, there's no vacuum tubes or anything in here. I was hoping to find a vacuum tube of some sort. That's alright though. Um, yeah. Yeah, these are awesome flybacks. Oh. Hopefully, I find some, um, what's my call it? Good transistors in here as well. They look that looks like a good, alright, transport transistor just in there. That heat sink. Don't want to touch anything yet. I'm a bit freaked out. I just powered it up earlier, so could be things charged. Um. Oh man. So so much old stuff in here. It's really cool. Those big capacitors there. They're nice. Um. I'll turn the flash on the camera. Oh, okay, you can't. Just updated my phone, still getting used to it. Okay, um, I'll start another clip. This is just so cool. Really like this stuff. Very keen to see what all this does. It's a high voltage area, obviously. Oh, this is just so cool. That's pretty interesting. Definitely keeping that sticker. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got the um, tube. Um, not the tube. Uh -huh. The flyback out now. Very nice little flyback. That's a high voltage lead there. And I cut all the little wires off because they're only. Is that? I have a feeling that's negative there, that's ground, because um, it's a fairly thick cable, it's properly insulated and all that, 
Then there's this other one also, which is white, and this is a high tension cable as well. So one of them I'm guessing is the um, ground. All the other ones were skinny, like this really tiny one, and yeah. And over here we've got, I think it's the multiplier maybe, the voltage multiplier. Sanyo Z O O four three triple B M P J H and this I have no idea what this is. So if anybody could tell me what this is, that would be good. Looks like there could be capacitors there by the looks of it. And there's a cable coming out there. So yeah. And there's the um, suction cup that goes on the bottom of the back of the tube. And I haven't teared anything else out yet. Um, actually, where did that high voltage resistor go? I think it's a resistor. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Ah, oh, here it is. It's right here. Yeah, a little potentiometer, I think. It's got writing on it. I'll read that out. Um, six eight two five A focus. Sanyo R double O um fifteen A T Tio something. There's the back. Yeah, I have a feeling that's just some sort of potentiometer. Could come in handy for something. But um I am really happy that I saved this. Speaker down there. Just um, to discharge it. But, um, yeah. So I've got to get transistors out and all that. Hopefully the transistors in this are matching. Because then I'll be able to make a Royer oscillator. And hopefully they're not dead. Yeah, because I really want to get my Royer oscillator working again. So that way I can... Play with some higher power flyback stuff. Right now, I'm just mucking around with the 2N3055 driver. It's really, really boring. Um, it's absolutely pissing down the frame. Anyway, I'll continue pulling this apart. So, I like these little lock things. They they come off there and then comes out. Oh, I've already done undone the screws. I don't know how well you can hear me because it's absolutely, it's really loud the rain how it is. Um, I'm not too happy about the rain actually. Hate it. That's coming out kind of. Ah, yep. Okay. Hang on a second. There we go. Alrighty, I haven't taken anything else apart. Ah, there's Max. Hey Max. So cute. Um, anyway. Jesus Christ. It's so loud. Can't even hear myself talking. There we go. It's a bit hard to do this one handed. Oh well. Uh, oh, yes. D353. D353. Awesome. Um, hopefully they're good transistors. Might be able to make a Royal Oscillator to test that old flyback. That's good. That's that's really lucky. And then we've got another transistor here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, camera ran out of memory. Anyway. Um, D353 
What else have we got on here? There's so many things on here I've never seen before. Um, for example, this much bloody stuff. That is so dusty. It's not even dust, it's like carpet. It is dust, I think. But yeah. This is really cool. I'm so happy I got this. So happy. It's like folds. It's like a book. That's really cool. Actually, what happened to those trains? Oh, never mind. They're just here. Oh, that is really, really cool. Look at that. I don't even have to take them out. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Never mind. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Got the next board out. And you can see two big 100 microfarad, 400 volt caps on there. Um, ferrite cord transformer. Just like in a normal TV. There's a diode down here with a heatsink on it. Another transistor. Some power resistors, bigger ca little capacitors. Um, what's that? I don't know what that is. Have to clean it up. And see, there's this little transistor down here with a heatsink on it. I don't usually see those little ones with heatsinks on them, but that one does. There's that big capacitor down there, 2,000 volt one. So there's some pretty cool stuff around here. Overview of the board. Anyway, we'll get that one out now. As you can see, there's a another transistor there. So there's like what, how many we, we spotted? With? One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, five of that that size transistor that we've found so far. So yeah. Continue doing this one. Oh yeah, there's this little switch here as well. That's, um, yeah. Okay. Um, got this board out. You can see three transistors in there, all with their heat sinks. And these um ICs are actually in sockets, which is pretty cool. Let's say Sanyo TA seven sixteen P and yeah. It's really cool. Actually in sockets. I don't, I don't know what this is. Little switch there. What is this? got four pins. I don't know if anybody could tell me what that is. I'll probably find out what it is later on. And these things, I've seen them on other TVs that I've taken apart too. Delay line. Yeah, not sure. But you've got one board, two board, three board, four boards. Um, you know, just potentiometers and stuff. There's like four boards here. So, um, yeah. I'll just get all the other little bits of it. And um, what I'm actually planning to do with this, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Um, I'll, like, what I'll do, I'll use it as, like, a bench with the TV.